What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create a Messenger Facebook ad using Minichat. And we're gonna go through how to create the actual ad, uh, what to do on the objective, and how to create the actual JSON ad. Now with Minichat, uh, they've come out with a really cool tool that allows you to do this within Minichat. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well as how to do a JSON which is a little bit more complex. Um, I'm more old school, so I'm used to that method. So that's what I'll show you first, and then I'll run you through how to use Minichat to create those ad campaigns within their platform. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is click on Create Ad and choose our ad objective. So um, I'm gonna X this out. We're going to use Create a New Campaign. And what you're going to want to do here is we are going to do messages, right? So we want people to go in through Messenger. So we're just going to call this um, mini chat JSON example. We're going to click on continue. This is where you would actually have your message destination. So basically the page that you want it to go to. Uh, click to messenger. Um, you don't want sponsored messages. I found that that is what's best. There's some really cool things coming with WhatsApp. I'm sure they're going to get majorly into that. Um, you can go into WhatsApp instead of uh, the Messenger application, which is pretty cool. Um, if you don't know what WhatsApp is, it's basically a texting platform that's international that allows you uh, not to use your text uh, limits with Verizon or AT&T or whatever. So uh, we're just going to use Messenger here because it's a really cool tool. Um, and then we're just going to call this uh, example audience. Scroll down here. I'm not going to do too much of this because uh, that's not the purpose of this video. But what we want to do here is edit the placements. We just want Facebook feed, found that Marketplace does well, uh, and then Messenger does well. So we, we really just want to keep all of these, um, these placements here. Um, it typically does really well. If you don't want to use Instagram, then you don't have to. If you were to exclude, what I would do is exclude Marketplace and Messenger. Uh, those are probably the best, right? So. Um, Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed is probably your best bet. And then from here, scroll down, you can choose your daily budget. We're going to click on continue. And then this is the ad creative. This is where we're going to actually um, do the ad creative and input the JSON from Minichat, right? So what we want to do here is just go through and um, I'm going to really quickly create an ad for real estate. So I'm going to browse library. We're going to use an image that we already have. So we're going to use this image, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to say new listing in Frisco. Um, tap learn, tap send message. Uh, or you can do tap learn more. I would test those objectives, right? So tap send message to... Um, you have to be really clear about what you're doing here because if you're sending them a message after they've clicked, you really want to be clear that you're doing that. And that is um, Facebook's guidelines. So if you don't say that, um, then you're going to be against Facebook's guidelines. They're not going to show your ad to as many people. You could have your ad account flagged. So there's a whole bunch of things that could happen there. So be really clear about what you want to do. So I would say tap send message to um to see more price photos, photos and location of this property. If you want to do this, tap learn more, tap learn more and we'll send you boy I'm all out of sorts here. There we go. Okay so that's what I would say uh, for the majority of our listing ads. I'd say tap learn more and we'll send you more photos, price, uh, and location of this property via Messenger. Right, so you're compliant there. And then you would do feature features of the home, right? So feature one, feature two, feature three, and then the same call to action, right? Uh, I'm just doing this really fast so you can see what that looks like. Uh, your four bedroom, three bath, just listed. That's fine. And then from here, what we need to do is tap learn more, 
So we're going to choose learn more instead of send message. And then from here, we need to set up our messenger, right? So uh, in order to do this, we need to go to mini chat first. So if you go to mini chat, click on growth tools, click on new growth tool. And then from here, we need to do Facebook JSON ad. Now you do need a pro account within mini chat. It's like $10 a day to get started. So very minimal. Um, it's based on the subscribers that you have. So we're going to choose Facebook ads JSON. And then here you want to edit your your uh, initial message. So what we want to do is get them to click on this message. So if we go to edit this, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to say, hey, uh, thanks for requesting more information on this property. Tap view listing to get more photos, price, and location of this property. And here you do view listing, and then you would take them to your website, right? So <coughs> we're just going to use Google, and we don't need this. Um, actually, we do need to send them another message. So we're going to say uh, send message, and then uh, we would give them the link here, view listing. And then I would just give them the actual link within here. Because to add them to your subscriber list, you need them to click on this ad, and then you need to send another message. So um, in order for them to be a subscriber, we need to say view listing, uh, and then shoot them the information on the message. That's not weird at all. That's actually um, pretty standard. So we click publish here. Go back to the growth tool, call this whatever you want, one, two, three, main street listing, right? Um, and then what we want to do here is click on save, click next, and then this is where you'll need your um, your code. So I would go in and look at the opt-in actions, make sure that the, this message is right, look at setup, and then click copy code to clipboard. And then what you'll want to do is go back to your ads manager click on custom template here at the very bottom of this ad. So click on custom template, click on get started, click on JSON, and then go and uh, delete all this. So you don't need any of that. Make sure that this is completely empty and then paste that in, and then you're good to go. Whatever you have in this growth tool is exactly what you will be sending to them, right? So. Uh, that is how to click create a JSON ad if you want to do this for your listing or if you have uh, other forms of business, if you've got a gym or a chiropractor, you can do very, very similar things. Um, I would recommend doing this on the retargeting portion. Um, it's really cool to create more conversation uh, down the funnel. So you've got some of your cold, uh, cold audience ads here and then you've got your warm audience warm audience hot audience i would do that through the latter half of your funnel uh, and then i also told you that i would show you how to create ads within mini chat so this is a new tool they have if you go to growth tools and click on ads you can see here uh, you can create an ad within mini chat so if you click on create new ad and then from here you can select your business page you can go and select your ad campaign, what you want to call that, click continue. And then what you'll do here is you'll actually go through your ad set, right? So you'll go through and choose people who live in Dallas. You want a specific radius around that. You want to do Frisco, whatever you want to do there. You can choose the age. Um, you can't go as in depth as Facebook, but it is pretty good at this point and it is in beta, so it's going to get better. Um, so I would personally use the JSON method at this point uh, just for the targeting that you can do and the specific uh, things you can do within Facebook. But if you're uh, short on time and this is easier for you, you can go through and do this, right? So you would choose your ad budget and when you want your ad to go, right? When you want it to run, we're going to click on continue and this is where you would actually create your ad. So you would uh, use the image. Um, we have one of these just use one of these <clears throat> and then you would use the text so you'd say uh, new listing in Frisco right um, headline would be four bedroom three bathroom just listed 
doing this really fast for you guys, uh, but just so you have an idea of what this looks like, right? So you do tap learn more uh, to get uh, more photos, goodness, price and location via messenger, feature one, feature two, feature three, Use this, and then you've got your ad, right? So you've got this ad, uh, it's gonna say send message. Uh, you can have this message action. So you wanna say learn more. It's gonna be very, very similar. You can see what these look like on the top here, what that messenger inbox would look like, what it would look like on mobile newsfeed. Uh, you can see all of that here. And then just click next. And then you can see what the actual text would look like. So this is the welcome message that you would send, right? So we're just gonna say, hey, this is the same exact message that we created earlier within our growth tool. It's just a little bit different. So we'd say, hey, you can even include a first name on this one, which is cool. Um, get more photos, pricing, and location of this listing by tapping view listing below, add button, view listing. Uh, you want that to be a website, so you go to Google, and boom, you have your ad, click on send to Facebook, and you've created your ad within Minichat, right? So that is how to create your ad, uh, a messenger Facebook ad within Facebook, how to create a messenger ad within Minichat, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.